I think a lot of people, especially people who think that they might <clears throat> want to be founders, sort of secretly wish that EF had a magic test. And if they took the test and it gave them a positive answer, then yes, they should definitely be founders and they're going to succeed. And if it says no, well, don't bother. Maybe I wish that too sometimes, but sadly, that's not how it is. And the reason it's not how it is is because having observed hundreds, actually nearly over a thousand founders go through this process, one thing that I've seen is that your abilities as a founder are not something that you can work out analytically. They're actually something that you can only discover by doing. So, you know, in a way, I would say almost your abilities as a founder are generated by the act of founding. And it is amazing to me how much people can surprise not just us, but themselves once they get going. We strongly believe at EF in this idea that we call founder idea fit. And what we mean by that is that there has to be a very strong fit between who you are and what you work, what you work on. There's no such thing as a generically good founder or a generically good idea. And so one of the reasons we have the setup that we do where we pay people for three months before either we or they have to commit to it actually being a company is so that they can discover in a relatively low risk environment whether or not this is a good fit for them. That said, there are some things that we look for and there are some filters that we use to decide who to take on the program. We do get many, many, many more applications than we can accept, um, about 10 to 1 average globally. Um, and so I think some of them are really obvious. Like, we do think that um, you need to be a great problem solver. You need to be a smart person. Um, doesn't necessarily mean smart as seen through exam results, although it can mean that, but we definitely like really smart people. It's kind of a, a no-brainer. Um, determination, probably even more important. We look for people who are just extremely determined to succeed, and they have a track record of being determined in the things that they care about. Again, maybe seems obvious, but actually, if I had to choose determined or smart, I'd probably choose determined. <coughs> the third, which is a little bit different, is committed. Um, so the reason it's different from determined is determined is I'm going to achieve my goal no matter what. Committed is right now that goal is starting a company. And that's so important because we're putting together a room of 50 people who are in it together. You're going to find your co-founder in that room. And so being committed right now to starting a company is extremely important. And the final thing, which is a sort of EF idea, is what we call edge. Now, edge is a super, super important idea at EF. Edge means your personal competitive advantage. So I said in uh, the thing I said at the beginning that we don't filter on idea. We don't like, ask you to submit an idea and then decide whether or not to fund you based on that idea. And that means that we can't tell what you're going to work on. But what it doesn't mean is that we don't care about what you might work on. We do care, and that's why we ask about your edge. And as I say, edge is personal competitive advantage. It's the thing about you that makes you, is going to make you the right founder for the company that you start. It's basically the answer to the question, what are you extremely good at relative to the, all the other people that might start companies? And typically, at EF, there are three count, kinds of edges that we care about. <coughs> the first is a technology edge. What we mean by a technology edge is there is something that you can build, um, whether that's um, you know, a particular kind of technology that you spend a lot of time working in, either in academia or in industry, something like that. But it's something that you know how to build that other people don't know. Um, I don't mean that no one else knows. That would obviously be an absurdly high standard. But where you have an unusual advantage in that technology area. Um, the second kind of edge that we look at is a domain edge. What we mean by that is you have very deep experience and understanding of a particular domain. Obviously, if you say to us that you have a particular um, understanding of, say, the domain of finance, we would expect you to then want to start a finance company. There's no po point having a domain edge in finance and then starting a dating app. Um, we want people who want to work on the thing that they know about. And the final edge that we look at at EF is, is a little bit different. It's almost like the wild card. It's, it's the catalyst edge. And what a catalyst is, is someone that can bring out the skills uh, and abilities of others. And some of our most successful founders have been in that category. They have an, uh, an unusually strong ability to communicate, to collaborate, uh, and to bring out the strengths of others. So they're the things that we look for.